Lord for the service this far. Amen. It's time to look into the word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, let us let us pray. Lord, we do thank you once again, Lord. We're humbled, Lord God, to stand in your presence, Lord, to stand before your people, Lord God. And Lord, we desire one thing, Lord God, one thing only, Lord God, that you be exalted, that you be lifted up, Lord God. Lord, I have no word of mine own self, Lord God, no words of mine own mind, Lord God, but I desire to speak your word, Lord God. Lord, I pray that you would just have your way, Lord God. Lord, touch our hearts, Lord God. Let our hearts be good ground, be fertile soil, Lord God, to receive the engrafted word of God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. This morning we will be in a very familiar portion of scripture in Joshua, praise the Lord, uh, the sixth chapter, amen. But, uh, and, and uh, as, as the scripture says in Second Peter, Peter says, uh, I will not be negligent to put you in remembrance of these things, amen, though you know them, amen and are established in the present truth. You know, much of the word that we hear, as I've said before, I've said it many times, and we hear it over and over <laughs> and over again. Amen. And, and sometimes it seems that the second or third or fifth or tenth or hundredth or thousandth time that we've heard it, amen, we, we, we glean a little more. We see something else. We, we, we hear a little better. Amen. Sometimes we, we don't get it the first and the second <laughs> time. Amen. The Lord knows his children. Amen. Sometimes, amen, we need to have it driven home. Amen. Amen. So we need to hear it over and over. And I uh, just thank God for the word of God. Amen. Glory to his name. And so we're going to start at Joshua, the sixth chapter, and we'll read down, I believe, to about the 19th verse. It says, now Jericho was straightly or securely shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thine hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor. And you shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shalt thou do six days. And seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns, and the seventh day you shall compass the city seven times, and the priest shall blow with the trumpets. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. And Joshua, the son of Nun, called the priests and said unto them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the Ark of the Lord. And he said unto the people, Pass on and compass the city and let them that is armed pass before the Ark of the Lord. And it came to pass when Joshua had spoken unto the people that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horns Pass on before the Lord and blew with the trumpets and the ark of the covenant of the Lord followed them and the armed men went before the priests that blew with the armed trumpets and the real reward came after the ark and the priests going on and blowing with the trumpets and Joshua had commanded the people saying you shall not all you shall not shout nor make any noise with your voice. Neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth until the day I bid you, then shall you shout. So the ark of the Lord compassed the city going about it once, 
and they came into the camp and lodged in the camp. And Joshua rose early in the morning, and the priests took up the ark of the Lord, and seven priests bearing seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord went on continually and blew with the trumpets, and the armed men went before them, but the rearward came after the ark of the Lord, the priests going on and blowing with the trumpets. And the second day they compassed the city once and returned to the camp. So they did six days. And it came to pass on the seventh that they rose early about the dawning of the day and compassed the city after the same manner. Seven times. Only on that day they compassed the city seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time when the priests blew with the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city, and the city shall be a curse, even it and all that are therein. To the Lord only Rahab the harlot shall live, she and all that are with her in the house, because she hid the messengers that we sent. And ye, in any wise, keep yourselves from the accursed thing, lest you make yourselves accursed when you take of the cursed thing and make the camp of Israel a curse and trouble it. But all the silver and gold and vessels of brass and iron are consecrated unto the Lord. They shall come into the treasury of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. And we can see as a summary, if I was to give a summary of what we just read, is that uh, uh, these were their marching orders. Amen. Amen. These were the commands. These were the guidelines with which God was going to accomplish the victory. Amen. And it's important in battle, in warfare, Amen. If you're in anybody's army, it's important for you to follow your orders. Amen. It's, it's important that you keep in mind, amen, what the general told you, what uh, your commander, amen, your commander in chief, amen, uh, uh, instructed you, amen. Uh, it's vital, amen, if you're going to uh, be successful, amen, if the, if the task if the, uh, 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 is going to be successful, amen, we need, we have to follow, amen, our orders, amen. And so that's very important, amen. The orders have already been vetted. The orders are guaranteed, amen, to produce, <laughs> produce a positive result, amen. They've come, in, they've come from the highest authority, amen. And so you can count on that if you follow the commands, if you follow the instructions, if you follow your marching orders, amen, that the outcome, amen, amen, would be successful. Uh, in verse 16, it says, for the Lord has given you the city. Amen. The Lord has given you the city. So in a sense, it's, it's all on you now. It's all on us now. Amen. The Lord has uh, promised to be with you. He's promised that uh, the Lord said to Joshua that he would be with him, that every place the sole of his foot would tread upon Amen. He would conquer it. Amen. He would have it. Amen. And so all you have to do, amen, is follow, amen, your orders. Amen. God has given us his orders. Amen. The city, uh, for, for the Lord has given us the city. The Lord has given you the city. And so now it's it's up to us. Amen. Joshua, it's up to you and the army to 
follow the uh follow your orders to keep the orders amen do what uh god has prescribed amen to to guarantee the the victory the lord the scripture says thanks be unto god that gives us the victory amen through our lord jesus christ amen thanks be unto god who always calls us to triumph amen as a church, as a people of God, thanks be unto God, which causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. Amen. And so, but our victory is tied to our orders. Our victory is tied to us, amen, keeping the word of God, staying in line with our orders. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. But when we get to the seventh chapter, amen. And speaking about the walls, let's continue a little bit. The Bible says that God had them to march around the walls seven times. Amen. Um, uh, actually, I believe it would have been 14 times by the time we get, uh, by, by the time the walls actually come down. Because for six or 13 times, six days, <laughs> amen, they walked around once. And then the seventh day, they walked around seven times and they were not supposed to speak <laughs> or talk. No chit chat. <laughs> amen. No, nobody should be on the phone. Nobody should be talking. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, uh, <laughs> no talking. <laughs> My goodness. My goodness. The Lord said, I don't, he said he didn't want to hear a sound. When I tell you to shout, then you shout. Amen. 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 And we know how we like to shout. <laughs> we like to shout. But, um, God gave them orders to march around seven times and, and on the seventh day to march around seven times. And these walls that were to come down were massive. Amen. These walls that were to come down were 25 feet high Amen. and 20 feet deep. Amen. Actually, it's quite, uh, uh, this was actually considered to be an impenetrable wall. Amen. This, this uh, fortress, amen, was considered to be impenetrable. That's why it starts out, the, set, the, script, the, the chapter starts out saying that at Jericho, <laughs> they was, nobody went in and nobody came out. Everything was secure. Uh, uh, there... Uh, their defenses were, were, they were counting on their defenses to, to keep them. They were counting on that wall, amen, to keep them safe. But when obedient people of God need to bring the walls down, when, when the people of God, when the children of God, amen, need to get the walls down, all we have to do is keep our orders. <laughs> All we have to do is do what God is telling us to do. March around and be quiet. Amen. March around seven times. Amen. I noticed he didn't say no murmuring. But I believe that's what it probably, you know, it's hard to murmur when you can't actually talk or, or not supposed to say anything. <laughs> So that meant no murmuring either, no complaining, no asking questions. Why do we need to walk around seven times? Why, why, why? Why do we have to do this? Why do we have to do that? Why do we have to keep coming to church? Why do I have to read my Bible? Why do I have to pray always, always, all the time? Not ceasing, hallelujah. Amen, men are always to pray, always be calling upon God, always reading the word. Always pressing. Amen. Amen. So they had to march around with these orders. Amen. 
But in keeping the orders would guarantee them that the walls, hey man, these, these insurmountable conditions or situations, the things that seem impossible, amen, can, can be broken if, if we stand on the word of God. If the people of God walk in the word of God, preach the word of God, teach the word of God, live the word of God, amen. The problems and the issues in our communities, hallelujah, amen. God will begin to do something about it. God will begin to show up. If my people that are called by my name would humble themselves and seek my face, Amen. And pray and turn from their wicked ways. God says, then I'll hear from heaven. Amen. And heal the land. Some of what's going on in our community is, is up to us. We have, we have the answer. <laughs> we have the answer. Amen. And as we read on into the seventh chapter, it says, but the children of Israel, and this is, this is after the walls came down. This is after uh, the people, after Israel went in to Jericho. And the Bible says that they were to Leave no breathing thing alive. Amen. This was this was this this is what this were their this was their orders to leave no breathing thing alive and except except Rahab, except Rahab, praise the Lord, and her family, <laughs> praise the Lord. Amen. But everybody else, gone, done. And the Lord told them not to touch. Any of the spoils. Don't touch any of the spoils. And I remember I was looking at a commentary and they, they were saying that, <laughs> that in the commentary they were saying that the spoils were the first fruits unto God. But that, that, that really, to me, that wasn't accurate. It wasn't accurate because uh, uh, there are times when God said, Go in, you know, leave, let the women and the children live, take out all the men, and you can keep the spoils, you know, you can, you can have the spoils, amen, you, you, can, you can have all of that stuff, you know, but at this time, this, this, this time the Lord said, uh, don't touch, you can't take these things, you can't take these things, amen. So, uh, as we read, let, let us read um, from the seventh chapter. It says, but the children of Israel committed, committed a trespass in the accursed thing for Achan, the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took of the accursed thing, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. And Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is beside Bethaven, unto the east side of Bethel, and spake unto them, saying, Go up and view the country. And the men went up and viewed Ai. And they turned, returned to Joshua and said unto him, Let not all the people go up, but let about two or three thousand men go up and smite Ai and make it, and make not all the people to labor thither, for they are but a few. So there went up thither of the people about 3,000 men, and they fled before the men of Ai. And the men of Ai smote of them 30 and 6 men, for they chased them from before the gate even unto Shebron, and smote them in the going down. Therefore the hearts of the people melted and became as water. And Joshua rent his clothes and fell to the earth upon his face. The ark of the Lord 
before the ark of the Lord until the even, eventide, he and the elders of Israel, and put dust upon their heads. And Joshua said, Alas, O Lord, Lord God, wherefore hast thou at all brought this people over Jordan to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites, to destroy us? Would to God we had been content and dwelt on the other side of Jordan. O Lord, what shall I say when Israel turns their backs before their enemies? For the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land will hear of it and shall invite and in us round or surround us, cut off our name from the earth. And what wilt thou do unto thy great name? And the Lord said unto Joshua, Get thee up. Wherefore liest thou thus upon thy face? Israel has sinned, and they, and, and they have also transgressed my covenant, which I commanded them, for they, even, for they have even taken of the accursed thing, and have also stolen and dissembled. Also, and they have put it even among their own stuff. Therefore the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies, but turn their backs before their enemies, because they were a curse. Neither will I be with you any more, except you destroy the accursed thing from among you. Amen. And so at this point, um, <laughs> God lets them know that, that Israel has sinned. Somebody has committed a trespass. Somebody in the army, somebody in, in the family of God, in the house of God, amen, has committed a trespass. Somebody has violated their marching orders, amen. Somebody has gotten distracted along the way and forgotten their marching orders, amen. And there's God knows, God is seeing, amen. The Lord sees the whole thing even before Joshua saw. God saw that Achan had committed a trespass even before Joshua knew anything about it. And as Joshua was calling upon the name of the Lord, the Lord said, get up, Joshua. Amen. Israel has sinned. Amen. There's sin in the camp. There's sin in the house of God. Amen. And God tells him to call the people before him and bring the tribe of Judah because God knows exactly God is working through. There's 12 tribes, but then God says, bring the tribe of Judah and bring this family and bring that family. Amen. And they get it all the way down to, to Achan. <laughs> Because God sees it all. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Many times we're, we're trying to get away with this and get away with that. But God sees it all. He sees those little things that we do. The, the scripture tells us that it's the little foxes that spoil the vine. It's those, those little things that, that get us in trouble. No, we're not out committing, you know, big sins as we would say, but those little things, amen, that, that they get us in trouble, amen. The lust of the eye, the lust of our flesh, the pride of life, these things creep in, amen, and get us distracted. And so let's go down to verse 17. It says, and he brought the family of Judah, and he took the family of the Zarhites, Zar and he brought the family of the Zarhites man by man, and Zabdi was taken. And he brought his household man by man, and Achan, the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, was taken. And Joshua said unto Achan, my son, 
Give I pray thee glory to the Lord God of Israel and make confession unto him and tell me now what thou hast done. Hide it not from me. And Achan answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel and thus and thus have I done. When I saw among the spoils a goodly Babylonian garment and 200 shekels of silver and a wedge of gold of 50 shekels weight, then I coveted them and took them and behold, they are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent and the silver under it. So Joshua sent messengers and they ran into the tent and behold, it was hid in his tent and the silver, the silver under it. And they took them out of the midst of the tent and brought them unto Joshua and unto all the children of Israel and laid them out before the Lord. And Joshua and all Israel with him took Achan, the son of Zerah, and the silver and the garment and the wedge of gold and his sons and his daughters and his oxen and his asses and his sheep and his tent and all that he had and they brought them out they brought them unto the valley of acre and joshua said why hast thou troubled us troubled us the lord shall trouble thee this day and all israel stoned him with stones and burned them with fire and they had stoned them with stones and they raised over him a great heap of stones unto this day. So the Lord turned from the fierceness of his anger. Wherefore the name of that place was called the Valley of Acre unto this day. Amen. So we see the swift judgment of God. Amen. Swift judgment of God upon Achan. And what Achan did and, and to him may have seemed to be a small thing. And that's what happens when we, we take things for granted. We take the word of God for granted. Oh, this is just a small little violation. Oh, I'm just, it's just this or it's just that. It's just a little lie. Amen. Amen. We take these things for granted, but the consequences are massive. This, these, him coveting a garment, a beautiful garment, his, his covet, his, his desire for the money got him into trouble. It got his daughters into trouble. It got his wife in trouble. It got all of his possessions taken away from him. And so many times we don't understand uh, the seriousness when we, uh, of our walking away from what God is telling us to do. It carries a lot of weight. It means a lot when you're walking before, when, if I walk before the Lord, it's a blessing to my family. Amen. If, if I continue to honor my wife, Amen. It, it's going to bless my marriage. Amen. But if I get distracted, if I get twisted in my mind, if I forget that, that, that I'm the, a child of God, that I'm walking before the Lord, I can destroy all of that. I can mess all of that up. If it had not been for Jesus, where would we be today? Because you obeyed and you humbled yourself. Amen. That's why you're here. Because you decided that I'm going to do it God's way. I'm going to walk with the Lord. I'm going to stay with the Lord. And as we gave ourselves to the Lord, all of these blessings came upon us. Amen. Amen. But if we forget God, amen, and cast his word Behind us, the consequences are immense. Amen. 35 men 
of the 3,000 died needlessly. God is able to take us to war and not one person die. Not one person get injured. You know, but in this battle, 35 people died, lost their lives. Amen. Because of Achan. And so those, those uh, things that distract us, I remember that, we all remember that message that I forget the brother's name. I believe it was from Little David, I believe. Uh, he, he preached a message called um, Weapons of Mass Distraction. Yeah. Amen. I, I forget his name. Edgar Evers. Edgar Evers, I believe. Yes, yes, yes. Praise the Lord. But that was a... Was it Edgar? Praise the Lord. <laughs> but... How many remember that message? I believe it was, on a, it was on a Sunday afternoon, I believe, when he came and preached that. And, and, and this was years ago. It almost, <laughs> I'm sure, I know we had phones then and, and, and all of that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but so many things are, the reason I'm saying this is because so many things are coming at us today. They're, they're, the enemy is throwing you know, everything at us, you know, from all different angles, just to get, just to distract us from our marching orders. Just to cause us to, you know, Jesus, you know, oftentimes God would tell them, don't look to the east, don't look to the west, don't look left, don't look right, walk straight forward. <laughs> But the enemy knows that if he, if he just bombards us, if he just throws, you know, a, a, a lot at us, amen, something's going <laughs> to, amen, something's going to catch our eye. And so that's what happened with Achan. Something caught his eye. He said, when I saw that garment, I had to check it out. And when he moved the garment that's probably when he saw the gold and the silver. And then uh, uh, he just couldn't help himself. Amen. He just took it and hid it, knowing that this uh, would violate or bring a curse or uh, bring displeasure to the Lord. And so that's what these things are designed to do, distract us. Amen. The scripture says, Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, that would include uh, Ai, Joshua, Caleb. Um, that would include um, Achan. Amen. You know, these things are written for our admonition. Yeah. It says, let us lay aside, Hebrews 12, 1, let us lay aside every weight and every sin which does so easily beset us. And let us run this race with patience. The race, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Amen. It's easy to be overcome with sin. Amen. And God knows that the Bible says, if we sin, we have an advocate with the Father. Thank God we don't have to endure swift judgment on the spot. Thank God that God gives us, <laughs> praise the Lord. Don't you thank God for that? Amen. Amen. Because so many times, amen, we messed up. So many times we slipped up. The Bible says that if we confess our sins, hallelujah, the, the thing to do with sin is get rid of it. Confess it. Amen. Don't continue to, to wallow in sin and commit sin. Amen. I was having a, a problem with, with TikTok. And I kind of pride myself. I was priding myself at one time because I don't watch a lot of TV. <laughs> And, but I have an iPad, and on iPad you have all the apps. 
But this, this, and I wasn't actually really, I just happened to start looking at things on TikTok, TikTok, TikTok whatever. But I, one night I'm, I'm just, y'all know what this means. Y'all know what this is. <laughs> you scroll and you bing, bing, bing. And look, anything, any interest you have, any, any whatever, you can find it on TikTok, anywhere, YouTube, whatever. You can find anything that fits your fancy on, on these apps. And I was saying, I was saying this is too much because it was two o'clock in the two o'clock in the morning, and I'm and I'm still. <laughs> and then they have one thing I can't. I wish I could remember the girl's name or, and what she actually says. But it's one it, this, and you guys notice if you if you've been on TikTok for any TikTok for any length of time, there's a, a girl, black girl, that comes on and says, "Are you still scrolling?" <laughs> Or something, she says something to that effect. I can't remember her exact words. I, do you have a case of the I can't help it? <laughs> you know, and, and you know, so this happened on a few occasions. So, and I would see her, and, I, and, I, and she would almost kind of convict me. <laughs> so I said, I said to her, I said, Lord, I got to get rid of this. I got to get rid of this. It's too much. It's too much. I got to get rid of this. So I just, one morning, I just deleted the app. I just had to delete the app. Because I, because I, you know, many, many uh, and you, and we make excuses for all of these, all these things that, but, but when they, when they start to have control over you and, and demand your time. And, and, and another thing got me. I finally listened to Tick Tock. Tick Tock. Time. Tick tock. It finally hit my brain. Nitwit. <laughs> the devil is taking my God time. Time that I would be maybe reading my Bible or maybe doing something else productive. <laughs> tick tock. Tick tock. The devil is telling me I'm taking your time. Right? He's telling me right off the bat. I'm robbing you of your time spent with God. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh, that, when that thing hit me, I said, oh my God, I, I got to get rid of this. So I just deleted the app. Now, how many, how many have the grace to delete an app? We, we got the grace. We have the grace. If, look, if, if, it's, if it's hindering you or Messing you up. You got the power to delete. Don't re don't forget. You can always delete. So you don't have to repent. <laughs> if you don't want to repent, delete. <laughs> and then sometimes, sometimes just look. Some people don't have problems with laptops and, and things, whatever. Some of you, some of you don't. If you got flesh, you probably do in some kind of way. <laughs> if you have flesh, amen. Some kind of way you, you might be having a problem. But sometimes we need to just shut the whole thing down. Shut the whole thing down. There was a time that was there was no iPad. There was a time there was no iPhone. The brightest lights in my house are my iPad and my iPhone. Oh, they're the brightest lights in my house. And I said, I said, I got to get rid of this. So I just shut it down. And sometimes we need to just take a break from it. Amen. Take a break from all of that stuff. And, 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 and get back to, you know, loving your relationship with the Lord. Just don't you, I remember one time I came home and I just turned the music on. This was recently, I praise the Lord. And, and, and. I just listen to songs and music and praise and worship. And, and some of the words of these songs are prayers. And, and prayers that I pray and, and prayers that, that, that sound so wonderful. <laughs> and so you get into, so, so I just played music for like hours, hours. 
just blowing my eardrums. <laughs> I like the music, but I like the words too. And and, and I kind of got caught up down there in my in my room. Oh, praise the Lord! I got caught up down there. Oh, it was a blessing. It was a blessing. But the real blessing came the next morning when I went to pray. When I went to get down on my knee and pray, I said, Lord, you made this a holy place. You made this a place where I can get into your presence. It was just, you know, we can sanctify. Yeah. Amen. We can consecrate anytime we want. It doesn't have to be in the church. Amen. Amen. Don't, you don't have to shut yourself in in the church, but you can, you can consecrate and you can sanctify and you can set some time uh, apart for God. Amen. And just be in fellowship with him. Amen. Amen. Get closer. Amen. Meditate on him. Praise it and worship him. Amen. Just get caught up in, in the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Romans 6.12. These are our marching orders, saints. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body. That you should obey it in the lust thereof. Neither yield ye your, your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness. We're instruments of righteousness. <laughs> That's a high level. That's a higher level than what we see going on around us. Amen. Amen. People are counting on us to live right, to maintain the standard. Amen. Verse 14, for sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but under grace. We don't have to be overcome, amen, of sin. It shall not, God has freed us from the power of sin. If, you have, if you've repented and invited the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart, the Lord has set you free from the bondage of sin. But every man is tempted when he's drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Amen. We're naturally lustful people. We're naturally, we naturally desire things that are not good for us. Amen. Only as we walk in the spirit. Amen. The Bible says in Galatians 5, 16, this I say then, walk in the spirit. This is, these, these are our marching orders. Walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. Watch and pray. Watch. Use your eyes. Watch. Use your spiritual eyes. Know what's going on. Yeah. Know where you are spiritually. Yeah. Amen. Am I sinking? Yeah. Am I wandering? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Am I close? Hallelujah. Am I walking with the Lord? Am I walking in the spirit? Matthew 26, 41 40 and 41, it says, And he comes to his disciples and finds them asleep. And he says to Peter, What? Could you not watch with me one hour? Amen. And this was, and this was at Jesus' most trying hour in which he said this. The times that we live in are desperate times. Amen. Desperate times. Amen. It's, we're, we're living in perilous times. We're living in, living in desperate times. Preachers have gotten away from preaching the gospel. Amen. And 
for one of the few times that I've heard this, I heard a preacher say that if you're not a Republican, get out of my church. They get out of my church. What about the person's soul? What about their soul? So that not in, in, in some of these churches, and some of these churches are big churches, huge churches. They're preaching politics. They traded in the gospel for politics. We're living in desperate times, but our orders are telling us, watch and pray, that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, the spirit of Christ that is in you is willing to follow the orders of God. But the flesh is weak. The flesh will always be weak. The flesh is always defeatable. Amen. That's why God just tells us, walk in the spirit. Get your spiritual legs. Get, you know, get your spiritual strength going. Build yourselves up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Everyone standing. Glory to God. Let's give God a praise offering. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. The Lord is great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And great we should be praised. Hallelujah. 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 I wouldn't know.